Directing your mind inward. Focusing on the breath, it is primary to any poses. If you ever find yourself holding the breath, know that you should adjust or modify the pose or just rest so that you can breathe effortlessly.
you have to inhale, maybe setting an intention for yourself, for someone else, for a community, for our nation, and for the world. Breathe it in. Exhale out all that you don't need in body and in mind. Remembering there should be no pain in the practice. If there is, adjust or modify the poses. Inhale, arms come up, extend and open, lifting up, reaching up. Exhale, out to the side. We're going to do Bhastrika breathing, really starting to wake ourselves up. For those who haven't done this in a while, you can either bring the arms out to the side if you have any shoulder issues. If not, then we bring the arms up. We create a baby fist, thumbs in, four fingers covering. And using just the exhale through the nose, like you're blowing the nose, we bring the hand down each time. It's going to be much quicker than that, though. So just one quick one. Inhale in. And then we're going to do about 15 of those. All right. If anyone knows that they need to get a little picture, I think there's some in the back. Um, so we'll begin. I'll go through the instructions again. Arms out to the side or up. Now we'll take a deep breath in and exhale out the mouth. Everything comes up. Then inhale in. Only through the nose, breathe and. And that was 15, deep breath in. Exhale it out for some, it may feel almost as if you're hyperventilating, you may feel dizzy. And as long as the dizzy is mild, dizziness is mild, you should be fine. I just help to really awaken the mind, you might even feel the pulse in the head, depending on how strong the effort was. The breath work is coming also from the abdominals, focusing and working the abdominal muscles as you do this. We're going to go for 30. Again, do what you can do. If 10 is your number, if you need to go half the speed, listen to your body. Deep breath in. Exhale out the mouth. Inhale in through the nose, breathing only through the nose. Halfway there. Thirty. Deep breath in. Exhale up and on. Feel the shoulders drop the neck relax. One more time. Half and on. Plunge and breath. Allow the chin to drop. Feel the stretch in the back of the neck. You gently rotate just an inch to one shoulder on your inhale. Exhaling to center, inhaling to the other side. Noticing the tension you may be feeling in the neck. Use your breath to see if you can release the tension. With each rotation, maybe going a little bit farther. Knowing you're welcome to stay in a spot, stretching through, releasing tension, and when you're ready, coming back through the cycle.
Bring back to chest on the next exhale. Deep breath in. Maybe support yourself with your hands and, and then switch the position of your feet again. Sitting up tall, just in anything you need to to feel comfortable now. Noticing how one side may feel so different from the other. Accepting that, work with it. And learn that every day we can work each side, focusing on the right versus the left, left versus the right. Deep breath in, lift that shoulder back, arms come up, palms together, forearms together, clasping the fingers, and gently begin your wrist rotation. All the way around. Breathe. Trying to keep the forearms together. Feel the shoulders stretching gently. Exaggerate that feeling even lift the elbows up. And reverse the rotation. Breathe. Notice your posture. Notice where you may be feeling tension. Exhale, wrist comes forward and out, shoulders down. So you can relax the shoulders. Extend through the wrist. Inhale, lift, squeeze up. Deep breath in, gently, side to side movement here. Work in the lateral line, meridian line, on the right and the left. Breathe. Inhale, lift, exhale, bring the hands behind you, lift the heart gently, feel that stretch through the sternum, maybe some work in your lower back. Inhale, hands come forward and extend the feet forward. Can come off the block if you like. Stand through the heels, pressing out, lifting up, sitting tall. Back toes, maybe even adjusting my pressing hands down by the hips. You're welcome to use a strap here. We're going to come forward into a seated forward fold. And exhale, coming forward gently, just lifting the body. You feel the belly coming closer to the side. The heart starts to lift up and the shoulders slightly back. Breathe. With each exhale, see if you can bring the belly button a little closer to the side. And once you've found that edge, you're not going any further, maybe bring those toes towards you. Breathe. Breathe. Inhale, slowly lift up, reach up. And bring hands behind you, relax your feet, relax your legs. Maybe bring them about hip width apart or further. And gently just allow them to flop side to side. Notice how the knees feel, the hips feel, the ankles feel. And then gently, we're going to begin to rotate the ankle, making a circle with the big toe. Take your time, you can go slow as you want, you can go fast as you want. Just know there shouldn't be anything popping, crunching, maybe, yes, as long as there's no pain. Reverse the rotation. Breathe. And relax the legs, relax the feet, straighten them out. Bend the knees a little bit further apart. And gently windshield wiper. Just notice how the quadriceps feel. She stretches gently the quadriceps. Just listen to the body, listen to the hips. Right? The movement doesn't have to be all the way down to the floor. It can be just gently two or three inches side to side, taking your time.
Sitting up tall and coming from down, angle. So as palms of your feet come together, if you have very tight hips like this, sitting on a block is helpful, or even sitting on a cushion This helps to open up the hip flexor region. It wasn't even sit on two blocks if you prefer. So. And so just begin to open the feet up like a book. So the outer edges of the foot connect and then the upper edges begin to come and splay out. Notice how the knees begin to push down. You might feel a little bit more uh, stretch through the inner thigh muscle. As you press the knees down and open the feet up a little bit wider. Breathe. Sit up tall. Good posture. Good. And slowly come forward. It's available. Come forward. You can want to use another block if you have one. It just helps support you. Feeling the stretch in the inner groin muscle, the pelvic floor. See if you can relax the pelvic floor, relax the lower lumbar. Breathe. Maybe breathe in that intention, set like a goal. Exhale all that you don't need, all the tension that you can release. Couple more breaths. Then we begin to lift. Force us all. Reach up. You're welcome to use your hands to help lift the torso a little bit higher. And if your hands are behind you, maybe bring the hips forward. Just another half inch. Or bring the heels to your hips. You're welcome to wash those heels in. That's just a little bit more of a stretch. Maybe not going to happen today, or maybe it does. Maybe you found a way to release. So breathe in. And again, open the feet up like a book. Press the knees down. Breathe and relax. Bring the knees up. Coming out of this again, windshield wiper. Release the hips. <clears throat> And then bringing the knees down to one side, coming into the tabletop. Finding the hands. Finding your hands, open completely. Point your finger parallel to the side of your mat. Hands are placed about shoulder with a part wrist or underneath the shoulder. Knees underneath the hips, about hip width apart. And just in this position, tabletop, your core is gently engaged. The belly button is gently pressing up towards the spine. You're not letting loose completely and letting it hang down. So gently contract that core, holding a nice long spine. Now think of pressing the tailbone slightly back. You're not pressing back by bending knees. Just gently notice the work to press and pull back that tailbone towards the back of the wall. Now the top of the head extends, try opening up each vertebra, lengthening the spine. The movement may not be noticeable by eye, but you may feel it. Now cat cow. Begin to engage the core a little bit more, pressing that. Belly button up towards the sky, arching the back, chin to chest, press the knuckles into the floor, extend the arm. Come back to neutral, breathe, and then exhale, belly drop, chest comes up, shoulders back, chin parallel to the floor. Now, it doesn't have to listen to the body. 
Inhale to neutral. Exhale to cat. Focus on the feet, the hands. They're still working too. Continue at your own pace. Cycling, warming up the back. Breathe. Any issues with the wrist, you're welcome to make a fist to relieve pressure on the wrist. Coming back to neutral, gently moving side to side. Come back and forth. Bring fingertips in towards the center, wrists are out towards the edge of your mat. Again, side to side movement. Feel the pressure through the wrist all the way to the tips of your finger, the calves, front and back movement. Now bring the fingertips to the outer edge of your mat. Wrists come in towards each other. Same idea, side to side. And back and forth. Last one, bring fingertips to point towards the knee. Breathe, feel the stretch in the inner forearm. See if you can rotate it in the other direction. So bring them out to the edge and then back towards the knee. Continue on? No, okay. And then gently reverse the position of the hand. So now the palm is up and then make a fist. One at a time, one at a time. So for example, the right hand is still palm down and the left hand is palm up. There we go. So you have some support with that hand. And if you need to have it in the regular position, fingers up, it's fine. All right, switch hands. We're working on carpal tunnel, muscles of the forearm, fingers, all working here. And back and forth. Just a couple of times. Breathe. Now bring the fingertips back up, normal tabletop position, and lift the wrists off the mat. Fingertips are now down, neutralizing the wrists. If you need to, you can make a fist if that's too much, or if you are double jointed, and that creates some issue with the fingers. So you can make that fist and neutralize the wrist area. Breathe. Curl the toes under, press back gently. You're welcome to be on your forearms and that's more comfortable. Just notice how the toes are feeling. Side to side movement. Bring the hand back up, tailbone up, uncurl the toes, wide legs if you like for child's pose, coming off of the wrist, relax them as much as you like, moving them side to side if you wish. If you have any issues with the knees, you're welcome to put some sort of push behind the knees. If the knees are feeling pressure, if you can't bring the tailbone and hips towards the heels, you're welcome to place a block between the legs for support. You can't bring the forehead to the floor. You're welcome to bring a block so that the forehead can be placed on something. Looking up at your fingers, extend them a little bit further, and then drop back down. Inhale, looking up, deep breath in. 
Then come back to tabletop, opposite limb extension. And we're going to extend the right hand out as if we're shaking someone's hand. Extend it out, feel the core work. Again, remember the engagement of your core. Breathe. And bring the right hand down, left hand extend. Eyes are looking down, so good spinal alignment. Exhale down, extend the right leg back. Heel presses back as if it's pressing against the wall. Feel the activity in the leg. Four is strong. Still good. Spinal alignment. And bring it back. Breathe. Extend the left leg back. Press through the heel. If you're holding that wall away from you, breathe. Back down. Opposite limb. Right arm extends out. This may be enough for you. Or begin to extend the left leg down. This is a balanced pose. Eyes focus on something on the floor for balance. Breathe. Anytime you need to rest, breathe too. Exhale back down. Find proper alignment. Preparing for the other side. Left arm extends. Right leg presses back. Notice the work on this side. Is it more balanced? Is it less balanced? No judgment, just notice. Breathe. Exhale back down. Knees apart, child's pose. The last to me. Inhale, lift up gently, back to tabletop. Bring the hands forward just about six to ten inches, and bring the belly down for half plank. If you need to, go on to your elbows. You're welcome to do that. Holding your breath. However, we're going to press down to the child's pose. So be prepared. Exhale back into child's pose. Half plank, come forward. Core is strong. Really focus belly button up towards the spine, keeping good spinal alignment. Belly. Good, good. Bring the hips down just a tad. And back in the child pose. Inhale back to half plank. Chaturanga. Gently bring those elbows in, right underneath the shoulders. Bend them just a few inches. Breathe. Back up. And child pose. Onward today. Take your time. Breathe. Remember, you can hydrate anytime. Little sips of water are helpful. Inhale, back up. Half plank. Curl the toes under. Get ready for our down dog. Now, puppy dog. You uncurl the toes. Elbows come down. And tailbone comes up, heart reaches for the mat. This is our puppy dog, stretching just the arms and maybe torso. Down dog, we add leg stretch. So the palms come down, toes curl under, core is strong. Breathe, feel the knuckles press into the floor, and then lift, heels 
Just modify any time you need to. Come out of a pose whenever you need to. Breathe. Bring both heels up. Tailbone high. Bring the heart closer to the knee. Feel the shoulder blades come in together. Extend the arms. Come forward. Half plank. Knees down. Uncurl the toes. Shatter on down just a couple inches, come up and back in the child's pose. Breathe. Inhale, come up. Prepare for down dog, curl the toes under, press up, core is strong, extend as high as you can, heels up, breathe. Now we're going to lift the heart a little bit higher, maybe walk right foot forward, hover, left foot forward, hover. We're coming into a standing pose, so if this is not the way for you, then you're welcome to just stand. The way you need to is slowly walking the feet to the top of your mat. Breathe, bending those knees. We're going to come up, reach up. Upward salute. Exhale, hands come by the side. Everyone okay? Busy? Good. You took your time. It's important to take your time especially from an inversion to standing. Knee breath in, arms come up. And then pivot just to your right. So bring the feet over to the right. So bring your feet, so you're standing like this. Bring your right foot over and pivot. Just like that, good. All right, have a block nearby. Wide leg. So I want you to be on your mat. I don't want you to be on the tile. All right, so we're going to take a big step. Arms come out, wide leg. Breathe. Just notice how the knees feel. Are they locking? You're welcome to slightly bend those knees. All right. So just be mindful. Arms are out. Good. All right. The more you bend the knees, the more you use the muscle and less the skeletal system. Just so you know. So when you lock the legs, now you're using the skeletal system. Your muscles aren't really that active. So. Just know, bend those knees slightly, use your muscles, shoulders are down, away from the ears, good. Breathe, come forward, lift your tailbones high, so that now you're parallel to the floor. Breathe. Inhale, lift up, reach up, arms up. Exhale, and twist to the left. Good. Gently twist. Notice the legs. Try and keep them strong and stiff. Inhale, come back up. Reach up. Exhale to the right. Good. This is kind of a balance pose. It really tests your, um, your balance. So just listen to the body. Unwind, realign, deep breath in. Now this is where we'll use the block. Exhale, come forward, reach for that block. Finding prepare posture with wide legs. We're going to place the left hand, left hand onto your block. The right hand will come to your right hip. Good. Now slowly start to twist 
that right shoulder up. Breathe. Find to your hips in the same plane. So adjust your legs to find deep and symmetrical. You may not twist as much as you'd like, but we're getting a little twist. Breathe. Maybe that right arm will reach up. Maybe not. Maybe it will just come behind you and relax on your lower back. Exhale, right hand comes down, switches with the left. Left hand to left hip. Now again, bring the heart to the left side, left shoulder up. Find that twist and adjust your legs. So your legs are going to want to have maybe the right one tucked down, the right hip. Try and keep the right hip and left hip in line. Maybe the left arm will reach up. Breathe. Exhale, hand down. Reach for the breath. Strong legs, slight bend of the knee, release the muscles. Wide arms. And lift up. Reach up. So as the arms come down, the legs can come together. Breathe. Shake it out. Get a little sip of water. <sighs> We're still at the top of the mat. <clears throat> Wide legs again. So we're going to inhale up to the loop. Deep breath in. Exhale. Wide leg. Now we're going to pivot the right leg back. Good. All right. Right leg back. Good. Bend the right knee. Adjust your hip. So just the feet. So maybe bring that left foot out to the side, right foot to the side. All right. And then bring the hip around to face the mat. There we go. Yes, this is our balance. Good. You're in a warrior one stance. Deep breath in. Good. Arms might come up. Exhale, hands come down. Extend that front leg. Come forward to spine warrior. Inhale, lift up, bend the knee, pivot around to the other side. So bring the feet to the wide leg. And now we're going to pivot the left foot to the top of the mat. And that right foot comes out to the side. Bend the left knee. Good. Hips come around so they're parallel to the top of the mat. There we go. Good. Bend that front knee. Knee is over the ankle. Press through that back right edge foot. Arms might come up for warrior one. Breathe. Working on the hip flexes here. Lifting up. Breathe. Focuses up through the psoas. Exhale. Hands come down. Pivot back. Four wide legs. Arms come out. Inhale up, five pointed star again, press through the ribs, shoulders back. As the arms come down, bring the legs in. Take it out. Now we're going to look at the top of the mat.
We're going to come back down. Inhaling up, deep breath in. Exhale, swan dive forward to prepare posture. You're welcome to use your blocks if you'd like, or just place your hands on your thighs or on your shins, depending on your proportion, so that your torso is parallel to the floor. Breathe. Exhale, maybe come into a full forward fold. Again, you're welcome to stay in prepared posture, bending the knees. And then gently trying to straighten one at a time. Allow your shoulders to relax, your head to relax. You're welcome to use the gloves, props, whatever you have to help you. We're going to bend the knees even deeper, planting the hands onto the floor. And maybe walking right leg back for a lunge. You are going to bring that right knee down immediately. And find your lunge. Left foot is forward, left knee over ankle. Again, hip flexor work here. Gently moving side to side. If you need cushion for the knee, please add it. Extend the front leg. Heart lift gently. This is our modified Sun Warrior. And then the knee comes forward. Reach up with the heart. You're welcome to use blocks here for a lunge. Breathe. Allow the hips to drop as low as is comfortable. You're going to feel the tension through the inner thigh muscle, hip flexors, stretching them out, finding their edge. You're even welcome to stop the intensity by placing a block there and just supporting yourself. Breathe. Inhale. Move your blocks if you're using them. Come forward, planting the hands. Curl the back toe under. Lifting up. Bring the hands forward and bring your right foot forward. Breathe forward, forward. We're going to switch it out. So however you need to do this, bend those knees. Press the right foot into the floor. The left foot begins to extend back for lunge, adjusting, moving the hips, finding your lunge on this side, using blocks as you need to. And I recommend just moving side to side, opening up the hip flexors. Try and keep that knee over the ankle. If it's too far forward, it can put too much stress on the knee. Good, bring the, the knee down of the left leg. To help relax into this. Now, spine warrior modified. Extend the right leg back. Hips are parallel to each other. Breathe. Eyes look forward. This spine we're looking. And then come back to your lunge. Use your blocks, find a deeper line. Again, allowing the hips to drop maybe a little bit further. Find your edge, you're welcome to again use a block to stop the movement. Breathe. Coming back down to the floor with your hands. You're going to curl the back toe under, come up into a full lunge. Getting ready, we're going to come forward to our prepared posture. You can use the block, bring the hands forward, and then prop the left leg back by the right. Breathe, bend both knees, hands up to the floor, and walk your feet back to a half plank, and then down to the floor. That is doing good.
and bring the hands so that the palms are down in front of the head, elbows are under the shoulder. We're preparing for sphinx. Palms are down. To reduce intensity in the lower back, bring the feet as wide as you'd like. At minimum, bring them hip width apart. Press the tops of the toes into the mat. Feel the legs engaged. Kneecaps might start coming up off the floor. Feel the quadriceps, the glutes engage. And then that's when we begin to lift the heart, shoulders come back. Is it sink? Breathe. Exhale, elbows out to the side, palms under the shoulders. You're welcome to go into space if you want. Otherwise, we're going to go into cobra, baby cobra. Elbows are right next to the ribs. Again, begin to, to strengthen the legs, pressing the top of the feet to the floor. Engage the glutes and the quad. And then slowly press the hands into the mat as you lift the chest, the shoulders are back. Ribs are, I mean, elbows are right by the ribs. Breathe, holding here. You feel the intensity in the lower back. Exhale all the way down. Relax the arms by the side, palms are up. Feel the heels relax, back to the side, the legs are relaxed, glutes, quads are relaxed. And we're going to turn on to our back, coming to two fine positions. If you have a strap, it may be useful to have a strap. Bending the knees. We're going to bring them in for wind release pose. Squeeze the thighs in tight towards the belly. Bring the feet back down so that they are parallel to each other, about hip width apart. We're going to lift the feet up, the lower leg is now parallel to your mat. Pressing the hands onto your thighs. These are called air crunches. We're going to press into the thigh, but the thigh doesn't want to move. So allow the thigh to be stubborn. As you press your hands against it, you'll feel the core engage. So deep breath in, and exhale as you press into the thighs, the legs are engaged, deep breathing, don't hold the breath on this one. Couple of breaths, really press the hands against the thighs. Feel the work in the core. Exhale, relax the feet, shake it out, knees side to side. One more time. Bring the uh, lower leg up, parallel to the floor. Hands come onto the thighs. Feel the shoulder blades come in gently and begin to uh, engage your belly button towards the floor. On your next exhale, begin to press hands against the thighs. Breathe. Don't hold the breath. The more you push, the more work goes on in the abdominal region. Deep breathing, push a little bit harder, and exhale, relax, side to side movement. Bring the heels in, close to the hip. You might be able to graze your fingertips against the heel. Bring the shoulder blades in, 
Remember, feet are about hip width apart, parallel to each other. Begin to engage the belly. Press that belly button forward to the floor. Feel the tailbone lift. Engage the heels. Feel the quadriceps engage. Glutes begin to engage and lift the pelvis. Reaching up, feel the pressure on your shoulders. Breathe. Lift up as high as you can. Exhale slowly down, one vertebra at a time. Take a deep breath in. Exhale out the mouth. Relax the body. One more time. Bridge pose. Engage the belly button towards the floor. The tailbone is lifting. Legs are engaged, glutes engaged. Now lift the pelvis slowly, lifting up. You can hold it a little longer. Do what you can do. Breathe. On your next exhale, begin to drop down one vertebra at a time. Maybe grabbing that strap, extend the left leg, bring the right leg in. Placing a strap if you have one on the loop. at the palm of the foot, base of the toes. Maybe stretch that right leg, lifting up through the heel. Breathe, exhale out to the side. You're welcome to use your hand to support the leg, bringing it out. You're welcome to use a prop if it won't go to the floor. Feel the opening. Engage that left leg to the floor. Lift the right. Breathe. We're going to switch it out. Left hand holds the strap if you're using one. And guides the right leg over the left side of the body. Crossing and twisting the body. Right arm is in a T. Breathe. Deep breath in, engage the left leg to the floor, supporting yourself with that leg. Now we lift up the right leg, reaching up towards the sky, bringing the heels higher, maybe the leg can come closer to the body. Feel the stretch in the hamstring. Exhale, bend the right knee, squeeze the thigh into the abdominal. Exhale, release, switch legs, left leg is in, deep breath in. Now, if you have a strap, place it at the base of the toes and lift the left leg up. Expand, feel the stretch here, mind. How you feel on this side, right? And left can be very different. Holding on with the left hand, right arm out in the feet. Engage the right leg to the floor and then drop the left leg out to the side. Both hips are on the floor, both shoulder blades are on the floor. Use your props as you need them for support. Engage the right leg, lift the left leg. Switching the hand hold, left arm out in the team, both shoulder blades stay on the floor, the left leg crosses over, breathe.
Begin to engage the right leg to the floor. And then lift the left leg up, reaching up, deep breath in, bring it closer to you, maybe find that edge of the hamstring. Bend the knee, squeeze it in to the abdominal region. Exhale, release, and come into Shavasana. You're welcome to do any stretch you need, get hydrated, have a sip of water if you'd like. Extend completely. Find yourself completely open. Exhale, relax. Allowing the feet to be about six of the part. Feet sway out to the side. Hands, palms are up by the hips. See about bringing the shoulders in just slightly. Bring the fingertips closer to the feet, bringing shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, release everything. Feel the shoulders surrender, the fingers surrender. Inhale deeply and exhale out the mouth one more time. Inhale. And on the next exhale, think about relaxing the face, the eyes, the cheeks, the mouth, the tongue. The jaw, the teeth are, teeth are unplanned. Feel the ribs surrender into the mat, the hips surrender into the mat. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Bend the knees. And that we move the head side to side, knees side to side. And when you're ready, allowing the knees to drop down to one side, allowing your body to roll over with it. Maybe placing your arm underneath like a pillow. And when you're ready, coming up into a comfortable seated position. Deep in, arms come up, extend and lift, exhale and spin. I thank you for coming today and practicing with me. It was my pleasure to be here to guide you knowing that you are your own God. As you go on with this day, remember your intention, your goal, and remember kindness. And can find thoughts. And do we find you?
the light and mercy and honor to the light in each and every one of you. Namaste. Thank you.